Okay. I'm going to talk about my binocular setup today. Um, I've already talked about the 15s a little bit. These are the Miopta HDs, 15 by 56 And I wanted to show the setup that you can get with them. It's kind of the, I think, the coolest thing you can do for them. Um, Vortex actually has something similar, but everybody was kind of complaining about the fact that you can't see through it very well. And I'll get to that in just a second. But I've got this bog pod system that I'm making a mess of right here. Will you hold the camera? Can you some help? There you go. Yeah. Sorry. I just threw this on there. I haven't even adjusted it yet. There we go. So I've got the bog pod top on my tripod. You clamp them on there and you can still adjust the width and everything. But what's nice with the 15s is uh, you can see everything with them. I can use them for close-up stuff when I'm looking for antlers and I just carry them freehand. Or you can do long distance viewing. I don't know if these are focused and whether I can line this up right or not. But I, I would almost go without my spotting scope before I'd go without these um, up in the sky. But anyway, if you haven't tried 15s for hunting and uh, glassing for animals or whatever it is you're doing, give them a try because they're, they're unreal. But the cool part about these and the setup I really like um, is this. Unscrew this. this hill as a 2x multiplier so when I'm out on the hill and I spot something far enough away that even with these 15s I can't quite tell if it's an antler or not I don't have to pack my scope with me if I'm hiking into hard to get to place I have to pack this and I got a little pouch for it that goes on my yeah, it goes right here next to my marsupial pouch which I love right there and uh, I'm gonna set it now I just throw the eyepiece in that pouch and I, I did have an attacher when I took it off and then this now is 30 power like a small spotting scope and here as you can see the cool part is this is actually a fully functioning eyepiece so you still have all the comfort of your binoculars it's not just some little screw on adapter with a bat, you know hard to see through view this thing's big, open, bright. You can see the diameter of it compared to the eyepieces. You know, and the exit pupil of this is lined up the exit pupil of that, to where you really get a nice, good, clear view. And you still focus it up here with this. And when this when this isn't on the binoculars, it's like a, a little two-power monocular. You can look through it and see clear as a bell. But that way, I can double the power of these from 15 to 30. You don't have a 30-power scope, essentially. You know, it's not obviously going to be as bright as my spotting scope, but it makes a big difference when you're trying to see something far away. You can throw this on there in two minutes, and it doesn't take very much time at all, and it doesn't weigh very much to pack it. And that's that's my favorite setup on anything I've seen yet because you know we had a, a big single we we hiked all day for clear into no man's land, and I swore I was never going to go back. And part of that was I just didn't like all the weight on my back. My feet were bloody. You know, just hiking into there and hiking out. and Should go back on horses and everything. But with this, you know, I don't mind taking this with me on those hard hikes. Instead of that, you know, four or five pound scope in your pack that takes up room where you can't put water in there. And it attaches and detaches easy, you know. And has its own little lens covers. And like I said, it's its own eyepiece. It's got the little eye cup that comes in and out on its own but this like I said it's it's amazingly clear and bright and the phone looking through with the phone doesn't do anything justice you know but I can't really line it up good by freehand but this is just one of the coolest things I've got and it, it costs a little bit I paid like 300 and something bucks for it but I sold my antlers to get it and I thought man that'd be better than packing a spotting scope and a fair 15s everywhere and I still plan on using my spotting scope don't get me wrong but you know when you're when you're hiking into the back country and you don't want to pack a whole bunch of weight this really gives you a good advantage to be able to get 
30 power out of your binoculars and it really is a good good image it's not not real you know degraded from the original image because i i was talking to some guys that got a different brand of a company that sells one um it's a lot smaller than this you can see the size of it in my hand there but it doesn't weigh anything theirs is like i don't know about that big little 2x multiplier and all the guys i talked to said they wanted their money back because uh the image is so small and dim and hard to see you know even trying to focus the best they can it's it's not a good image at all and this one i'm really happy with it we've we've messed around with it quite a bit and it's clear and bright and worth every penny but yeah just thought i'd talk about that i think it's about the best setup you can get like i said you can't beat the quality of these binoculars they're they're unreal so, thanks